Turn in your Bibles to Acts 4, uh, verses 13 through 22. This is our 14th message as we're working our way through the book of Acts. It was the confession of the early church that Jesus is both Savior and Lord, not one apart from the other, but both of them together. He is Lord and Christ, as Peter preached in his first sermon. And he underscored the first of those offices, if we can call it that, the saving office, in verse 12, when he announced, there is salvation in no one else. There's no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. And now in this next section, verses 13 through 22, uh, the unfolding events will give emphasis to the second of those offices, that is to the lordship of Christ, as that is uh, receiving an emphasis in the ongoing confrontation uh, with the Sanhedrin. His lordship, as it were, is confirmed. He is both Savior and Lord. Uh, so the, uh, the disciples are going to encounter these civil authorities, and they'll be faced with a decision. Are they going to obey God or obey uh, the governing officials? They have a choice to make. Will it be Jesus or will it be Caesar? Do they really believe that there is salvation in no one else. It's a, it's a lordship issue that they are facing in our text today. Are they going to preach or are they going to stop? I think at times we would like for religion to stay in its own corner, uh, to remain quiet there, but there's a certain inevitability. It's going to, a true religion, Christianity, is going to encounter the state 